Hey everyone, before we start today's video, I've got some crazy news for you. This month, Raid Shadow Legends is turning three years old! Can you believe that? There's simply never been a better time to start playing. Now, as everyone already knows, this game slaps. There's always something newly updated, and they're continuously adding sick champions like Sifi the Lost Bride, Sir Nicholas, and Hackhorn Smashlord. He must uh, really enjoy smashing. Relatable. You can celebrate this monumental month by using my QR code or the links down below to download Raid for yourself, for mobile phone or PC. In the last three years, a lot has happened in the game. They've added the Shadowkin faction, a tribe of warriors from the Far East that were recently liberated from the Reign of Evil. And of course, there's the Doom Tower, with over 120 levels and bosses to battle. And the newest addition, the Hydra Clan boss is without a doubt the biggest, baddest boss ever to set foot in Teleria. Well, <laughs> except for myself, of course. <laughs> For a limited time, you can use my link or scan the QR code right here to get a free starter pack worth almost $40. New players will get epic rare rewards like Misericord, Tiger Soul, and Romero. You'll also get 10 Magic XP Brew, 10 Force XP Brew, and 10 Spirit XP Brew. Act fast! You can't afford to wait on rewards like these. And since it's Ray's birthday, naturally, the gifts just keep on coming. All new and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts worth over $25. Once you're in-game, just enter promo code three years raid to get your hands on everything. You can also find me in-game under the name JonTron Show. Just click the link in the description and I'll see you there. <coughs> I'm not doing well, guys. I don't know if you noticed, but I ate a lot of fried chicken in that last episode we did here. We had to do a lot of takes, too, and frankly, in the end, it made me very sick and unhealthy. I tried to wash it down with some edible chalk, but it didn't work. What the fuck?! There's nothing edible about this! In fact, turns out it's the chalk that really did it. Yeah, it was the chalk. Yeah, it's terminal. Don't you understand? I've got to find someone who can make me healthy again. And I totally haven't done this video idea like five times before. You know, looking at this track record right here all of a sudden, it seems clearly to point to one thing. Health advice from celebrities does not work, okay? And clearly, my health insurance company caught wind of what I was doing in my, with my body in regards to that, which is why they sent me this nice folder showing me that, um, well, you could say my options have become a little constrained. American healthcare, am I right? This would not have happened had I lived in Denmark! Good news is, though, in this country, you get what you pay for. And I've got the best plan on the market. They were kind enough to print me up a whole four people who are still in network and desperate enough to take my money. So, you know, <clears throat> I've got my research cut out for me. Let's not delay. Who's number one? Michael Shane. Michael spelled with a Y. I that's a little untrustworthy, but he's got a sort of honest looking face. It's good enough for me. Let's see what he's got. You can feel his, his uh, childlike presence. We're in for some shit today, aren't we? Okay, I know we've done this whole health guru thing before, but that was nothing compared to the real winners I've got to show you today. You ain't seen anything like this before, trust me. This is alternative, alternative medicine. It's not your grandpappy's mainstream Gwyneth Paltrow Skynet microchip tracking ring. Okay, it's fringe stuff. So let's get to our first contestant, shall we? Michael Shane, a man who claims to be able to time warp gems into his stomach and then throw them up and somehow that's supposed to do something for you? Even if it happens. Okay, let's look, let's look this guy up. Michael Shane. I don't know, I really, who spells Michael like this? Here it is. Michael Shane, physical mediumship. Rev, well I think, I don't know if Rev stands for Reverend, but I'm gonna assume that. Explore the depths of truth inside your, all right, dude. Make your thing scroll slower, I'm trying to learn. Reverend Michael, fuck sake. I can't even read. Reverend Michael Shane, spiritual teacher and transphysical phenomena mean at least make it easy to read if you're gonna make it scroll this quick. Spiritual teacher and transphysical phenomena medium. You got that? That's what he is. Okay, about Michael Shane. Here he is. The man in question. Reverend Michael Shane is a certified physical medium of the SP. 
Don't you gotta basically change your uh, acronym if it's just straight up got ASS in caps on it? Just saying. Oh, here's, we, got a, we got a quote from him here. I believe everything that has been taught to me can be taught to others if they're willing to learn. Fair. Fair statement, I think. Okay, this is all getting a bit complicated. Uh, why don't we let the man speak for himself? Take it away, Reverend. My name is Michael Shane, and I'm what you would call a uh, trans-physical phenomena medium, which means I'm able to bring through using the energies of ectoplasm. Oh, you should have said so from the outset. That's a dog whistle for all the loons in the audience to start paying attention. Why are we talking about ectoplasm? What's gonna happen next? Is Slimer from Ghostbusters gonna pop up? I don't get it, he's going for all these, you know, like, transmedium, vibration, ectoplasm. It just doesn't, it doesn't fit, doesn't have the ring. Physical objects from uh, an, an, an adamant, like gemstones. Hey! Like gemstones, you know, can I grab you with that? Forget the other stuff, you know, sparkly, you like that? He has amazing abilities. You can feel his, his uh, childlike presence. Yeah, no, that's... That's how I would describe it too. His childlike presence. He's just like a little boy. I mean, at least they matched it with a perfect clip there. They're like, what, you need, you need the childlike presence, B-roll? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll just wait, I'll get that in there. I think the man has just a, a very strong intuition. You comfortable? We're doing an interview here. This <laughs> Constitutionalist, that's what, what? That's what they chose to represent him? I'm here just to make sure that this accords with the ratified amendments and such, and the bills of rights. Oh, the throwing up of the diamonds and the jewels? Oh no, I, I am only interested on, in that at a perfunctory level. I love the Patriots shirt. It, it, it really brings it all together. He, I feel, has been given a gift that's able to really transmit to a lot of many different people. I absolutely love Michael Shane just casually just standing around talking in the background here. I don't even know how that man keeps his like center of mass. Look at that devilish dog back there just chatting up that cutie. You know, you, you just know he's he's dropping a couple. Yeah, I do like gemstones. You ever heard of like ectoplasm? You can make sure I don't have anything on my body. <laughs> At first I'd like you to just just pretend you're a cop. I just, I'm just into this. No, no, officer, I don't have anything that'll poke you or stick you. <laughs> Let's get a nice close up on that. Beautiful. People train their whole lives to get footage like this. I mean, what, look at what we're looking at here. This is important. Otherwise, you wouldn't have zoomed in on it. We got, there seems to be some bit rate. That seems to be a void of nothing. I'm pretty sure there was something before he zoomed in that wasn't nothing, but looks like, nothing. well, what's that? Some unevolved banana, like South American bananas, like those brown ones. Maybe it's, may, it could be Michael Shane's fingers. I don't really remember what happened at this point before we zoomed in. Finally, someone's shutting him the fuck up. This has got so much like amateur magician act energy. What, what, that's not helping the cause here. If you're supposedly warping in things from different realms, the duct tape seal is not really what's gonna sell me. Sorry, I'm genuinely. What was that? Oh, I believe the man is in pain. <laughs> That's where the belief ends, but I believe the man is struggling. Oh, the divinity. Yeah, I'd pay to see this, definitely. No, I'm sold. Get me, does he have, does he have tour dates? But do not move forward. Was it worth it, Mike? Would you swallow that $2.99 bag of mixed gems from Amazon Basics again? I know you would. And just to be clear, they put the tape on it first to prove that he couldn't have done this. Or just eaten them beforehand. I think it works better if you do beforehand. Okay, so now after all this, he sits down with his crew and like examines the haul he got from his magic throw up. And then he goes on to like imply that the objects were like warped into his stomach and they belonged to like mythical figures or historical figures from centuries past. Isn't that one of the masters? 
Yeah, it sure it looks, looks like, like it. it. All the dimes are from Saint Germain. This one's from Quan Yin. This one here, that's uh, El Moria. That's definitely Quan Yin. Now, Reverend Shane, I didn't see that with the rest of it. You did not produce that, and I know that. Yeah, uh, I hate to ask, but you did disinfect this, right? That one's for you, honey. I know you want it. I've seen you eyeing this guy up. That's an Amazon Basics Fake Gems plastic. Just for you. Fraction of a cent. Cost a little Bangladeshi boy's life. Threw it up in the back room. A little, little too much barfing uh, for my taste with this guy. Plus, I'm afraid my own barf reflex is gonna get triggered or something at some point, so uh, who's next? Steven Turoff, psychic therapist and psychic surgeon. Nicely dressed, got some kind of a smile here. Uh, not too threatening. Let's see what he's got. Steven Turoff, let's have a look. He's got his own website. Steven Turoff started his career as a carpenter. Uh, I don't know, man. The last spiritual teacher to try this route ended up being the carpentry, so. But to each his own. He works with the power of light. That's what he's working with. That and a handsaw. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get in there and he's just gonna start flashing a flashlight at me? You feeling better? It's light therapy. And if the website weren't enough, uh, he's also got his own cult or something. You know, emphasis on, or something. So, what else do you need? You're covered here. You got the gamut. This guy's made it big, okay? He even made it on the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation. Remember that? That used to be good. Back when this was filmed, maybe. Stephen, you've been called a gentle giant. Why is that? Maybe because I'm tall and I'm gentle. Oh, another swing and a miss for you, Mr. Journalist. Why don't you go get your hit piece somewhere else? Okay, but that's enough of that mainstream stuff, all right? I wanna get more intimate. I wanna learn, uh, you know, from the words of Steven Turoff himself. So let's go to the more advanced section here. We got Ministry of Enlightenment, Conversations with Steven Turoff, Light Phenomena, part one. I can already feel myself just bathing in this light. Oh no, that's just the lights? Well, it felt like it. So for context on this video here, it's basically him sitting at his shrine of family photos, explaining and showing off these miraculous images where he's depicted exhibiting his superpower of glowing on camera. Big if true. Let's get to the bottom of this. Explain yourself. What's really interesting, there's no special cameras. Uh, all different cameras take these pictures of me. The latest one uh, we have is this one. I have this ability to turn my body to light. Can't do it right now because I'm, if you see, I'm charging. You can't even see the, uh, the, the jagged parts from Photoshop, literally right here. You can't even see the glow effect that I'll do right now. I can do right now. For you naysayers, you know, Steven doesn't have to defend himself. I will defend him for him, okay? Are you suggesting that Steven Turoff, a man of wise spiritual teachings who just wants to freaking help people, would do something like this? Like this? You saying he would do some shit like this? No, that one on the left looks way better than what I just did, okay? There's no way, that one's real. Cause I only took, I took only like 15, 20 seconds on this. Give me like 60 to 80 seconds. I can make it look, in fact, no, he wouldn't. It's way too easy to just do that. That's real. You know, some people say, oh, I paint these on, I do this, I do that. No, I don't. Some people say I'm a big liar. Some people say I'm making it all up. No, no, I'm telling the truth. The light man. Steve, maybe one of those angels can come down and, and tell you that for PR purposes, maybe don't look down and, and twiddle your thumbs like a freaking guilty interrogation subject right when you're saying you're not lying. So, you know, you can't say, oh, we're well, something wrong with the camera. No, two different cameras took these photographs. Shit, he got me. I've got no outs. Hey, wait a minute. What if there were two Stevens? The national newspaper come to do an article on me and they filmed it and we have uh, somewhere here. Yeah, here, the pictures 
where you can see the angel and you can see they've got no feet, they're floating above the ground. That's a picture of my dog, he died, so I try to get him as close to heaven as possible. It's been a while since I've seen him, he's pretty far up there. Gosh, what a beautiful dog he was. It was full daylight, and this is the picture, and full daylight, and I was working in the healing room, and they were filming me, and uh, as they filmed me, I dematerialized. I mean, I'd show you the picture, but <laughs> frankly, there's not much to see. If you watch the film, uh, you can see me going, ah! Yeah, I know I should have said this going in, but you know, my eyes are a bit sensitive to light, and uh, the last carpenter I worked with dropped a brick on my cat, so. But we still have two options, okay? I'm sure one of these will be right. Uh, so what do we got here? Pranic healing. Well, his energy beam looks very strong, so that's always a plus. Uh, let's check it out. Crown. I've seen these. I know crown, I got this. Forehead, even better. I am, that's one. <laughs> I'm cruising. So this is good, this is good. We're, we're two for two. Ajna. Ye okay, we're two for three. Throat, okay, we're, okay, we're back in familiar territory. Front heart. That's a typo, right? So front solar plexus, spleen, navel, slow down! Slow down a minute, God damn it! Sex. Yeah, well, I understand it, I guess. I didn't even realize we had back heart show up here. Meng Meng. We can't forget the Meng Meng. Crown, forehead, throat, front heart. That's the Meng Meng. That's the Meng Meng. It's important. Well, don't get it twisted. Your back heart is there. It'll heal me. It's okay. We've got to give it a chance. We're only 38 seconds in. I'm having a pranic attack. <gasps> Let's move on. Okay, we've covered the basics. Now I want to know about the aura and its components. That's the inner aura. That's the outer aura. And those are the health rays. <gasps> that's, that's a bright, healthy aura. That's what it's going to look like. A bright, healthy aura. And you know you can trust these people because they've done their proofreading. How to activate your hands. Oh, is that why they've been sort of, hold on, how's he doing it? He got like a, whoa, whoa! And what is this? That's crazy. Everyone's been, been able to do that? It's that easy, just like that? Just, wow. No, I still feel like I haven't slept and I feel like shit. Watch out! Watch out! Don't shoot it in public, man! Learn to scan and locate the chakras. He's very gentle. He's not gonna he's not gonna press your chakra back into you. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that main boundary. Yeah, got that. <clears throat> Front solar plexus destroyed. Back solar plexus destroyed. Front heart, 30% capacity. Oh yeah, that's a chakra clog right there. You don't need more than a Dyson vac for that. That's a serious job. See, it's just that simple. Now she's learned. And now she can clean chakra crumbs off that guy too. You're a, you a dirty boy. You are a congested boy. Dirty energy disposed off safely. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a water bowl? What are, you gonna, what are you gonna wring out your hand too before you go back? How to dispose dirty energy in absence of salt and water. This, this I need to know. Because yeah, sometimes you don't have those on hand. Okay, you get the green, you throw it in the green fire. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. No, that's what I was thinking too. Cause like, I thought, I thought it was like maybe too obvious, but um, create the green fire, um, wang it right in. Good thing he didn't need the green fire here. He's got the salt and water. But um, <laughs> I'm just saying one seems a lot more common than the other. I, I'm trying to think of when you'd need the green fire, like realistically. Yeah, you'd pretty much never need the green fire. And if you were in a situation where you needed the green fire, um, you probably got bigger problems than like cleaning your chakras. You could do that later, like after you get out of the Gobi Desert. How to disconnect yourself from patient after a healing. Just, just, 
just smack that off. Just give it a couple. Learn how to locate the spiritual cord. Why? Why you need to know where that is, dude? You wouldn't be thinking of severing that cord, would you? Cause it'd be real easy if you wanted to. It's just one shot. Bang, they're gone. And it's clean too, it doesn't leave a trail. No, you maniac! What are you doing? Only a fool would play God! Yeah, I don't know, not for me. Let's move on. I'm not gonna lie, uh, they pretty much lost me in Ajna, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one. What's next? All right, well, there's one left, so it's down to fate now. And fate's name would be... Bracco? Bracco? Bratso. Bratso. Uh, I don't know, maybe he's from Nebraska or something. Show me what you got, Bratso! Uh, have, did you have you come to kill me? Uh, just be honest. Did you, have you come here to kill me? So that's what he does. He just stares. That's all it is. That's all he's got. That's all she wrote. That's all he looked. But that's not even the bad part. Okay, he's got accomplices in this crime. He's he's out there regularly drawing crowds in at least as big as like an anime convention panel about Naruto Sharingan power levels. Who are the people who are going to see this? <laughs> I think Bratso is onto something because there are no words for this, really. Uh water just poured out of my eyes. Oh yeah, that's called, that's called crying. Um, what's your IQ? I could barely see him on the Skype session because I was <laughs> crying so much. He fucked it up, I, I waited forever and then I just, whatever this, whatever this was. Crying, 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 you know. I don't know why, you know. Crying, crying, crying. Did you get all that? What do you think he's really thinking when he's looking over his audience? It can't be anything good. I hate every last one of you for what you represent. Free will is a waste on subjects such as yourselves. I'd rather give free will to my fucking refrigerator. I don't know, does this guy do anything else? Honestly, let, let's go to his website, let's see. That's always a surefire way. Bratso.me. Got it, okay, very nice landing page. There's this beautiful mug. Nice branding and live stream? Online gazing? What do you mean live stream? He live streams? Isn't the point that you're supposed to like be there feeling his presence? Doesn't it kind of cheapen it to outsource it in this way? What are you doing with your time? You could be here. You could be sitting here watching this with 15 Americans, two Germans and a Kiwi. I'm really upset we're that far up in the rankings. At least we took down two Frenchmen with us, so I'm good. I'm good with it. So apparently that's all it takes. That, that, that's all you gotta do. I'm in the wrong business, okay? I should do this. In fact, would you, would you guys watch this? Hold on, let me try. Would you watch this? Striker 347 donated and said, Don't You're a fat loser Don't staring baby idiot loser wah wah wee wee hee hee Shut hee. up. Cavity head. Mods, Ben Striker 347 no, no, you know what guys, I know what the problem is. I just don't take care of myself, you know? I'm expecting random charlatans to fix my problems, but I haven't even taken the first step. You know, I should just go on a walk, get some fresh air, eat right. I'm still gonna drink though, but let's do this. I'm motivated. Let's start our journey today. Can you stop? Can you stop that? Look man, one of us is gonna have to move. What are you, what are you looking at, dude? Okay, this is, this has just gotta stop. 